than strong winds across the area. Still, if you have plans between now and nine, that is the time frame for this Randby factor. And I think it's okay for being and working outside through nine o'clock this evening in the Omaha Metro. This is the morning rainfall across the area. The Metro third of an inch to half an inch, but Lincoln inch and a half, Fremont inch and a quarter. Now a flood watch for most of the area until late morning tomorrow and the flood warning still on the Missouri River. Here's our computer model. This evening, it's just going to be cloudy and breezy like it's been, but by eight o'clock, storms starting to approach Norfolk, Columbus, and York. 930, those storms racing east northeastward, and by 1030, the main brunt of the wind, perhaps looking at this just north of the metro, but that's not necessarily a good thing because it may allow the storms to kind of lined up a little more east west and get what we call training where several rounds of very heavy rain producing thunderstorms move over the same locations. There's 3 a.m. And then finally out by 4 a.m. If that computer model is right, this is the rainfall across our area, which would be devastating four to five inches of rain. This is one other computer model, the North American Mesoscale model. It has the axis of heavier rain just a little farther north. And this is the GFS computer model, also slightly farther north, but closer to the metro. So hard to say exactly where the very heaviest rain will line up, but the flood watch means the potential is there for two to four inches of rain. 71 and 60 today. And again, Epley Airfield, a third of an inch of rain so far, but there was even more than that. West Omaha and western parts of Sarpy County. We're seeing the pollen levels change to now more weed pollen, which is typical we get into July and August. That's the West Dodge Expressway, the cloudy skies at 71. Southeast breeze, 18 miles per hour. The temperatures in the 70s area wide, and that southeast wind is blowing, and nothing happening right now, but to the west of us, a tornado watch for south central Nebraska and storms are just getting going in far southwest Nebraska. And that's what we're watching that activity to spread east northeastward into our area late this evening overnight tonight and the heavy rainfall threat. And then tomorrow along this trailing front, there could be more strong to severe storms, although I think more likely this area, uh, southwest Iowa and northern parts of Missouri. So. It's a severe weather night, strong to severe storms, but the heavy rain potential as well, a big deal. A little break at 8 a.m., but then more showers and thunderstorms possible midday and into the afternoon on Tuesday, so another severe weather day. A break Wednesday, more thunderstorms for the 4th of July. Friday, partly cloudy. Saturday, dry most of the day, but a chance we get some thunderstorms by Saturday evening and then mostly dry into Sunday and Monday. Boy, it's... Uh, it's an active pattern for sure. Oh yeah, thank you, Bill. Sure. And Bill mentioned the rain, but just how much